I love doing gigs in London. I love this city. Thank you so much for coming. It's just... <laughs> because it's funny. It's just a funny place. Last time I did a gig here, I said, what's the best thing to do in London? And a voice went, Rachel. <laughs> and I went, who said that? And the same voice went, Rachel. <laughs> And what I love about this place is sometimes comedy can occur from nowhere. I don't know if you've ever been at King's Cross Station, a platform nine and three quarters, <laughs> which actually exists. And you've seen a child running towards the wall. <laughs> and you're there going, oh my God, this is actually gonna happen. <laughs> that child's gonna smash his head against the wall. <laughs> There's no adults here. In fact, I'm the only adult and I am not gonna stop this. <laughs> to Hogwarts! No, you're going to a and &E. <laughs> And the aggression of this place is fantastic, isn't it? Even the squirrels are aggressive. <laughs> they are. Normally, you see a squirrel, it's like, excuse me, and it scuttles up a tree. I was in Regent's Park the other day, this big, fat <laughs> was looking at me <laughs> as if to go, no, you go round. <laughs> I had to edge my way around this furry turn. <laughs> I was terrified. I had to have a Nando's to calm myself down. <laughs> I'm obsessed with food. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't not watch Come Dime With Me. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch reruns. I don't know what's wrong. I'll sit there like an upturned turtle watching hour after hour. <laughs> that narrator, I love him. He's got the easiest job in telly, hasn't he? All he's got to do is watch people eat and then rip the piss out of them. <laughs> I have no idea. These poor women. I hope me risotto goes well. It probably won't, you stupid bitch. <laughs> no idea. Me and the guests are getting on great. They want you to jump into a bath clutching a toaster. <laughs> the atmosphere's a bit flat, like your tits, you toad. <laughs> and they go for your things. Have you ever been to a dinner party like that? Yeah, you cook the food, love. We're gonna rifle through your stuff in search of a dildo. <laughs> Finding David will be here somewhere. There he is. Look at the size of that thing. That could kill a badger. <laughs> Going through your things. Do you know what I'd do, right? If I was on Come Dime With Me, I'd hire a dwarf, I'd dress him up as Hitler, and I'd put him in my cupboard. That's what I'd do. <laughs> Jonathan, I wonder what's in <laughs> Tricky phone call to the dwarf's agent. <laughs> it's not panto as such. 